I will uh, present you the talk for today. We talk about uh, the, uh, as mentioned, uh, Samuel before, uh, uh, mentioned about the optimization of architecture by generation of uh, N-square and design structure matrices with our uh, current proposal called the DSM for Capella. Just before to, to go in the deep details of this uh, talk, uh, we would like first to uh, introduce uh, our company. So uh, uh, roughly, so Samaras Engineering is a small company of 20 employees. We are located in France, so mainly in Toulouse, and we have a little office in uh, Paris. And we have also uh, uh, some uh, expert consultants and certified Incosi engineers. And uh, we work in different industries and mainly in automotive, space, energy, and nanogenics domain, and sometimes for defense. Our, um, our field of expertise is around uh, systems engineering and model-based system engineering. And in particular, we, uh, we have a, a specific uh, training center uh, and provide uh, wide, uh, wide uh, trainings around uh, MBSE and systems engineering and also with uh, product line engineering around different tools chains. So uh, we work with uh, Capella uh, tool chain, but also with uh, uh, CCML based tool chains such as Cameo System Modeler and uh, also with other two chains. Our, um, our vision uh, at Samares focused on the, 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 the good usage of models and uh, in combination with uh, requirements. So uh, we, we promote the usage of uh, Capella models uh, in a good combination with requirements. To, to have these kind of uh, zigzag elements to, to refine requirements using the models elements. And uh, we already uh, provided a, a, a previous webinar in 2022 around this uh, usage of this method and uh, uh, around our internal case study that you can uh, have a view in the, in the current uh, Capella webinars. Uh, finally, on our vision, uh, we also uh, focused on the digital continuity aspects, uh, using the models as a single source of truth and uh, providing a good combination with uh, uh, external tool chains, more specialized for different techniques, uh, such as control command and, uh, and uh, real-time software engineering with different tool chains. And we, we intend to... Uh, to promote the methods and guides and also automation to, uh, to facilitate the, the gateways and bridges between those environments. So the talk for today uh, will more focus on the coupling optimization, so more on the architecture side. Uh, and uh, uh, as an introduction, with this work has been presented to the uh, Embedded Real-Time System and Software uh, Conference in 2024, in June, in Toulouse. Uh, and the paper articles are available for reading. And uh, you will see with the different links, we will provide the, the link to, to, to access to those uh, literature. So to introduce the, the, the topic, uh, we would like to, to focus on the uh, variety, diversity of interfaces within the systems. And here is an example of a system, and uh, uh, this systems involves uh, generally uh, many physics and different uh, equipments. So, such as this illustrated in this application with different uh, elements, mechanical connection, uh, electrical connections, um, uh, spraying fluid uh, connections, uh, and it's sometimes uh, quite difficult to handle the complexity of these different interfaces. And as it is stated in different standards, uh, such as ISO 26262, or also the IEC 61508, uh, they recommend to avoid the unnecessary complexity of the interfaces at the system development level. So this talk uh, intends to propose and promote method and tools 
to facilitate this handling of complexity of interfaces. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, you will uh, have this uh, the the paper uh, as reference, and you 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 have the possibility to uh, to to select. Uh, just before uh, going in too much element, I will also uh, use. You will have uh, some polls that will uh, appear in your uh, interface, uh, and uh, we propose you to to answer to this question. That may be interesting uh, for us. So I will open a specific uh, poll question that you will appear in the polls uh, section. I will let you some uh, some few uh, few seconds to uh, to to consult this uh, kind of uh, question, and then I will continue the talk. So I will let it open huh, during uh, during my talk. So, uh, feel free to, to, to complete during the, during the session. So here, uh, what we want to illustrate in this talk is that we have, a, a, in model-based system engineering, we have first functions that may be uh, uh, complete and a lot of functions in a, in, a, in a system. And you have uh, logical components that you define uh, to uh, to group these functions into a kind of working sets, and you you have to exhibit the interfaces between these uh, components. So one technique uh, consists to allocate and distribute the functions over the components. So uh, when the allocation has been performed, uh, we can highlight here the interface. So here it's represent interfaces between the functions. And what we want to minimize somehow is the number of uh, uh, exchanges that cross, which cross the edges or boundaries of the different components. More you have uh, interface between these components, more you have complexity uh, of interface and probably issues during integration phases. So the question raised, what uh, can I do to minimize the interfaces number between components for large systems when you have a high number of functions or high number of components? So before going to the to these uh, details and the techniques we propose, uh, we just uh, recall the context of uh, the Arcadia methodology here, where you can find in this uh, overview uh, the main concepts of the Arcadia method, and uh, you you have here uh, some uh, many topics like functional topics, behavioral topic, and structure. I would like to to a little bit position our, our proposal uh, within this uh, architecture. So for our proposal, we consider that uh, at the current moment, we, focus, we will focus on the logical architecture level, functional. So we will uh, focus on the usage of the logical functions and their functional exchanges and the allocation distribution over the logical components. That is illustrated in a, in a simplified uh, view here, where you can find the components, the functions, logical functions, functional exchanges between the, the, the functions, and the component exchange, where the functional exchange is allocated on the component exchange. So basically, it's, it will be our, um, the, the, the context of our talk. So, what is uh, the issue during doing that? Uh, today, you have functions. You have uh, interface between these functions, so functional exchanges. And you have to uh, distribute, allocate functions to components. And you will have a resulting interface here between the components from the functions themselves. And, uh, and if you have a lot of number of functions, you will have a lot of uh, functional exchange crossing the edge of the components. So to to uh, solve uh, this issue, uh, we we 
intend to use a technique which is not new. Huh? It's uh, really well known from uh, systems engineering techniques and particularly uh, mentioned in the systems engineering handbook uh, from INCOSI. Uh, so we recall here the, con the concept behind. So we will use a matrix where you have in rows and columns, you have those functions and uh, you have a zero or one in the, in the, in the matrix where a one indicates here that you have a functional interaction between function three. Uh, you have an output, which is used as input for function one, at least one. And when you have a zero, there is no specific interaction between the functions. To now use this, uh, this matrix, we'll use the proposed technique from the handbook, which consists in uh, observe to, to try to find groups uh, to, to where you can associate uh, several functions into a single group, uh, which represent the components. And you can do it uh, basically uh, using this uh, uh, grouping uh, method. And when you perform this uh, at the initial stage, we can notice that you, uh, you have uh, here several uh, ones outside the scope of the components. So it means that it's resulting of eight uh, functional interaction between the components. But if you uh, swap a little bit the columns and rows, you may find a better solution by swapping the columns. And here you can find if we perform the grouping there that we maximize the number of interfaces, functional interfaces inside the boundaries of the modules, the components here. And we have minimized here the number of uh, exchange between the components. The resulting interface uh, representation here is illustrated below with components here noted uh, M1, M2, M3, and the functions, and you have four resulting functional So basically we will use these techniques and at each time we will uh, propose to generate successively different candidate solutions and assess the complexity of the resulting interface outside the scope of the boundaries of the, of the components. And we will use uh, something called a coupling value. So that we will mathematically compute uh, each time for each solution, and we will try we will try to minimize this coupling value uh, to find the best solution possible. So the coupling value is defined with the following formula. Uh, so I will not detail too much the formula here, but here basically this coupling matrix is evaluated, assessed, uh, considering the number of components and the number of interfaces between the components. We have uh, just a little look on the on the current uh, related works, uh, and we found uh, two uh, related works. The first one uh, exists in the literature, which generates uh, initial uh, n-square matrix uh, resulting from a MBSE architecture, so compatible with many MBSE tools, could be CSML or Capella. But it the, in this uh, proposal. Um, it's not focused on optimization, but only on extracting the initial structure of the functional dependencies. In the second uh, work, we have found that you have some uh, um, uh, people who have performed optimization techniques on using the N-square matrices, but more on the detailed physical architecture, generally, uh, defined with uh, MATLAB simulating tools or something like that, and which details uh, a large number of physical components. Uh, but as far as we know today, there is no real uh, integration uh, in uh, MBSE toolchain focused on the logical function allocated to the components. So this is what we will uh, propose here because we, we are convinced that the complexity may be managed uh, at the logical architecture layer before going into deep, detailed physical architecture. 
So to illustrate that, I propose to, uh, to give uh, the, the end, the floor to, to my colleague Mirna, who will present you the approach proposed and some demonstration of our uh, proposal called DSM for Clacoda. Thank you, Sebastian. So hi, good afternoon for everyone. So I point to a question in you, how to run our approach. We have chosen the genetic algorithm, which are algorithm inspired by evolutionary principle. So why genetic algorithm? The main purpose of this algorithm is to explore the solution space of a problem in order to satisfy a set of criteria. So the genetic algorithm is start they create, start creating a random initial population composed by individuals. Each individual represents a possible set of function allocation. So then the algorithm evaluates each individual using fitness function. This function gives a rank to an individual in order to estimate its proximity with the best solution. If candidate is too far from the optimal solution is deleted. Subsequently, if the population size is greater than a specific threshold, the algorithm continues. Continues and here the remaining individual cross over and exchange their genes in order to produce new individual. So finally, the in newly created children are subject to mutation. Then, this approach, DSM with genetic algorithm, has been implemented in the MPSE tools. The first was in Cameo, made by Samaras Engineering, more precisely by Jean-Marie Gauthier and Josh Keta, which is available in the publication that can you find in the link. Then we have implemented in Capella tools, thanks to Python for Capella. Python for Capella allows to interact a Python script in Capella model. This Capella implementation is available in the open source of Labs for Capella with the name DSM for Capella. Labs for Capella is the place where Capella users as well as tool provider can collaborate to develop Capella add-ons. So then, the, our approach implementation in the Capella environment start creating a binary, a binary matrix derived from the functional architecture, which also is exported in the Excel file. Based on this initial matrix is calculated and selected the minimum coupling value. Then is generated another matrix that have the function allocated to the components. And then the final step, it made the modification to the Capella model. Then the user can choose between two kinds of run, analysis or analysis and optimization. The analysis run implies execute the three step, but no modification in the model. On the other side, the analysis and optimization implies all analysis step and include the model modification. So now we're going to present you uh, the first use case where we're going to implement our approach. That is uh, IDA use case. IDA use case is a public use case uh, of ERT sans this system has a mission inspect the aircraft before takeoff, as you can see, show uh, this animation funny, that is uh, the, the mission of our case study. And uh, so now we're going to pass uh, to the demo live, so I can show you the demo in the Capella model. Uh, so here we're going to have our uh, Capella mo our Capella model. The AIDA model is amplified of the real architecture. The model is built uh, for this demo in Capella 6.1.0. So our as our implementation is for the in the logical architecture layer, 
we're going to show you which element we need to use to run our algorithm. In this case, we're going to use the functions, the functional strings, and the logical components. In the logical function, we're going to have a star functional architecture. We have the functions and the interaction between the functions represented by functional exchanges. Then we're going to have in the structure, if you show here, our system is composed by the flight management system, mission management system, propulsion system, UAV control station subsystem, vision subsystem, and the actors who interact with the, with the system. So at the beginning, we're going to have this star logical architecture. So here you can show there is some functions pre-allocated due to constraint or our system. The reason of this constraint could be safety, performance, etc. Here we say that the flight controller, the flight controller function must be performed by the flight management system. And here, for example, that means that the, the camera control must be performed by the vision system. These functions pre-allocated don't have flexibility allocation, but other functions have this flexibility allocation that we can find is we open here the available element. So these are the functions that we're going to use to run our algorithm and find where to place. So now is the Capella model. Now, how we can find the DSM for Capella menu in the, in the Capella model? One way is right click on the logical architecture and here we're going to find two options, architecture analysis and architecture plus optimization. As I just explained before, uh, we're going to start with the analysis demo. Here we can show, for example, what is the element. So we don't have any modification to the model, just stay. Here we're going to show the parameters defined in the logic and the genetic algorithm that is exclusively for this uh, for this model demonstration we have total 23 functions and 12 logical components also we have the the functions pre-allocated to the component and then we're going to have the 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 order the solution that we have to find the script produced a package named results uh, result where we're going to have inside an um, Excel file, that is the matrix, if we show, for example, the first. Here, we can find the DSM that represent the functions and, the, and their interaction. For example, if we take this row, manage mission mode, there is an output to, uh, that is an input to emergency landing function. So that is the way to read. That is the output and that is the input. You can find as this the initial matrix. Then if we show the other matrix generated, here we can just find all the functions and its allocation to the component. For example, if you show here is the, the last row is for the logical component, the mission management subsystem going to have uh, around a function allocated that is the managed mission mode and the other function. Just to remain in this case is also respected the constraint of function pre-allocated before in the, in the preliminary um, logical architecture. Now I'm going to show you how is made the modification directly on the, on the model. So we can just plus optimization, for example, it's going to run. So in this case, going to run all the analysis step, going to generate all the, the matrix and also going to show the allocation, a creation of the logic of the component exchange between the components. So you can show here is regenerated the same matrix and show the allocation. 
So another way just, just to show the allocated function is just here and to show all the function. Just to remain uh, today, the layout is done manually in this version of Capella 6.1.0, but note that for Capella 5.2.0, there is the A ELK extension proposed in the Capella forum for the automatic layout. So something uh, of the layout can give us this architecture with the coupling value minimized. Now, this is the first case study. Now we're going to present you another case study, a second case study. That is the agricultural, the health agricultural UAB. And this is already presented in previous webinar, as mentioned, Sebastian, in 2022. For more details, you can find in the, in the link. Yes. Just to remain, the, the drone is, uh, is a drone that protects crops field from insect by spraying phytosanitary product. When we can find the farmer who provide a flight plan to the drone and also as input the topographical data as well the measurement of the weather condition is an input to the drone. Then the drone will spray the field crops in monitoring the effectiveness analysis. So that is our case study. So we're going to do uh, the, the demo live for this case study. Now we're going to pass to the uh, UAV drone. So as well mentioned before, we're going to work in the logical architecture layer. So we're going to have the function. And here, there is the initial logical architecture, where we have the function, the interaction between the functions, and the difference between uh, from, the from the previous case study. In this case study, there is uh, more uh, elements, uh, elements, the more elements of model. That means more functions, more quantity of function, and more components. So, and then if we show more, I can show you the structure. We're going to show the initial LAV. So we have the, the, the ground station. We're going to have the drone. And it's composed by the system like flight management, propulsion, treating system, mission management system, topographical analysis, and energy management, as well the actor that interact with the system. So in this case, we're going to have also the predefined function allocated to the, to the component. And is we, if we check here the allocated function, we're going to have also the available elements that is uh, to run our algorithm. So going to search to minimize the coupling value. So is this case, uh, as the, the model elements is larger, we need to use another uh, parameter for the logic, for the genetic algorithm. So if to do this, to modify the predefined um, parameter of GA, we're going to access in this icon. This is a DSM for Capella experiment. We're going to click here. And then we're going to have a pop-up. And here we can choose between analysis or analysis and optimization. And here is to modify the, the parameter. So in this case, we're going to use another parameter to run our. So here. And as the model is larger, going to take more time. So uh, I will I would like to mention some assumption that we have considered for the approach. In the model, we can find composite functions, means a function has children function. It has been considered that uh, only the child function can be allocated. And then the same principle applied for the logical component. That is to say the lowest level of the logical component will be one that has function allocated to it. 
Then on the console, we show that it's made the, the modification of the model. We can show, and I can show you more detail what we show on the console. If you show here another parameter, the total component of, uh, of component is even larger and a function also. We have the pre-allocated. And here, if we, if you can notice, no, notice uh, there is two coupling value. This is almost the same, just a sun digit difference. So what it means uh, in this case, uh, can, in this case, um, the, the algorithm just going to take the, and this here, sorry, here is an example of two architecture that with different uh, only with the last uh, digit. In this case, in this situation, the algorithm will take the two digits after the decimal point and take the smaller one. So in this case, I'm going to take this. This is smaller than two. And this supply of more than one architecture could be a source for a for a future work, for example. Now, as we finish our approach, we can just show the result is generated here. We can show the initial matrix generated. We can show here that is larger than before. There is a last win. There is at least one um, interaction between monitor win status and analyze weather condition. In this case, we not count uh, how many or how, how many interaction there is, just at least one. And the result is the same as the first uh, the first case study principle. Just we're going to show the, the functions, uh, the components allocation, the components. Then that is could be interesting. The the other Excel file generated is here. I can show you. Here, the interesting could be, for example, if we take this and uh, this row, that means the component exchange and their functional exchange that it's allocated to this uh, to this uh, component exchange. So, if we go to the logic to the model, we can show, for example. From the farmer to the mission should be a treating plan allocated as function. So if we show here, I can. <clears throat> so just let me. We're going to. just to show all the function allocation here you can show and so here for example if you show the component exchange we can find the functional exchange allocated that is so we have used the this functional exchange to define each component exchange so after some layout, we can have as result uh, this logical architecture. So uh, now we, we are going to the conclusion, but before going to the conclusion, I will also open a small poll, this uh, to answer uh, two, two small questions uh, during uh, the, the, the conclusion appears. So, um, as a conclusion, so we propose value on functional and logical architectures uh, integrated within MBSC tool. So it's not only dedicated to Capella; huh? it's uh, it's uh, also uh, developed for uh, for CML or algorithm. The genetic algorithm is quite generic. Huh? We we have implemented it in Python, uh, and Python uh, is. Uh, well integrated uh, we have uh, well integrated that with other apis uh, with java other other uh, mbsc environment uh, then we 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 think it enables decision making regarding distribution of functions over logical architectures as i mentioned and i saw a, a, a question from juan before 
we 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 are convinced that the logical the complexity may be handled at the logical architecture level first. For sure, it should be extended to the uh, physical architecture layer where the concepts are quite similar. Uh, but for the moment, we have uh, considered that the logical architecture make more sense uh, because a lot of our customers uh, want to detail the functional architecture at the logical architecture layer, not necessarily at the physical architecture layer where the physical components may explode in terms of numbers and complexity. Uh, so the value is not necessarily perceived for everyone at this layer. But okay, this, this could be extended quite easily. Um, then, uh, so we, as we mentioned, we propose this as a open source uh, in the labs for Capella. Uh, and it's uh, already available since I think uh, six months now. Uh, in the labs for Capella community, where you have a documentation and the corresponding links to the paper, uh, the conference papers that we proposed, uh, where you can find a lot of uh, uh, details uh, around that. And uh, finally, so I, I mentioned some future work, so uh, so implementation uh, uh, within the the physical architecture layer. Sure, uh, we would like also to extend uh, the implementation uh, with other MBSC tools, uh, many one. We have currently a Cameo System Modeler and, uh, and also uh, Capella, but uh, maybe more, <laughs> depends a little bit. And uh, we have also a plan uh, to, uh, to extend the concept because currently we consider the, the interface coupling only as a, as a data flow dependency between the, the components. But we would like to also to consider uh, another, other dimensions, such as uh, delay and timing propagation delays uh, between the components, where you have components and uh, component exchange. You might have uh, a, a communication protocol and associated delays. And uh, this should be also handled with care to ensure uh, some uh, end-to-end uh, -end event chain and timing event chain uh, for the overall architecture. Uh, we would like also, it's a prototype, huh? it's, uh, it has been done in, uh, performed in the context of research and development uh, currently, and that's why it's in labs for Capella. So we, are, we know that we should optimize uh, a little bit the performances of the current algorithm and probably also to extend and explore other kind of algorithm rather than uh, genetic algorithms. Uh, and, uh, and finally, uh, for the moment, uh, as my, my presented Mirna, we generate, we overwrite one architecture, existing uh, logical architecture, but we would like to generate several architectures and facilitate the comparison uh, to the architect uh, to explore uh, different solutions and alternatives. But this should be extended. And uh, we could also integrate a little bit more the layouting facility to, uh, to facilitate the, the job of the, of the implement. And yeah. And finally, we have some reference. And, uh, and if you have uh, your question, are very welcome. The question is, uh, as physical behavioral components are, uh, at the end of the day, very similar to logical components, what will be the effort to adapt your plugin to address DSM between physical behavioral components? But yes, for sure, it's really similar. Uh, so the effort for adaptation is not so huge. It's really simple. Uh, as I mentioned, we prefer for the moment to, to focus on the logical architecture for the initial elements. Uh, but it's not so uh, important and it, it's part of our uh, future work proposal. Yeah. So next one. Actually, it's not a question, but me. Maybe you you can react yeah. to that. Uh, a true measure of cooking of a system is a combination of logical connection and physical connections, and they should not be equally weight. Uh, some are more difficult to implement than others. Yes, uh, you're right. Uh, <laughs> it's it's uh, it's uh, a good point. Uh, for the moment, we we have. Uh, uh, consider the logical architecture in the Capella layer, considering that the con component exchange are quite intermediate uh, 
uh, to the le, physical connection, uh, like protocol and so on. But for sure, you're right, uh, we may consider different weighting between these elements. And this could be very interesting to extend our paper and your proposal on that. Uh, I, 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 I would be very happy to, to discuss offline to these uh, topics, <laughs> no problem. That could be a, a really interesting element. Okay. For the paper, yes, for sure. As I mentioned, uh, the, the paper is available on the DSM for Capella. You have the link on the documentation and also on this slide. So no problem. It's available on uh, HAL and ResearchGate. Uh, what are your thoughts on using a similar approach to reduce the interdependencies between requirements? <laughs> we have never think about that <laughs> yet, <laughs> but uh, would be so very interesting to uh, to discuss it in more concrete way because uh, I think this is really appropriate for uh, allocation of functions to components, considering the interfaces. Uh, it's not really clear to me uh, just in the uh, sentence of the of the statement here. Um, uh, what kind of dependency we would exhibit between the requirements. So this could be studied a little bit more. Maybe uh, timing requirements are different behaviors than uh, functional requirements or some other requirements. So I think the question is not so clear and needs a little bit more uh, details. Well, maybe once again, not really a question, but probably a suggestion uh, for, for the work. You could characterize types of exchanges between functions using PVMT, uh, for instance, that are mass energy, mm -hmm. uh, and then run your DSM plugin per type of exchange. Yeah, it, it's a really good suggestion. So, uh, so this could be studied uh, as an option. Uh, it could be uh, implemented quite easily, I think. Yeah. So, is it possible, for example, to draw a DSM or mapping in CSV or Excel and then import such file so we can create a capella model from it. <laughs> uh, uh, we have not considered this uh, feature, but it could be an interesting feature. And I don't see uh, no real issue to perform that because we have also the capability to import data from Excel through the Python interface. So, I'm quite confident that it's uh, quite easy to do. Uh, in a frame of MBS, I'm sorry, MBSE approach for viability or variant, is it possible to apply uh, an, an square on a 150% model? Or so, to consider that some function or components are sometimes not embedded into a specific variant? It's a really good question. <laughs> uh, it's not considered yet, but yes, it could be uh, explored uh, uh, further. We have the capability to do it. Uh, for the moment, you can explore it on the 150% model, but uh, the, the, the script, uh, the plugin add-on, do not consider that some of them are not uh, part of a variant that could be uh, explored, and it's really a good suggestion. Maybe a last question from my own, if we don't have more questions from the audience, is that do you have any figures to provide an idea about the, 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 the complexity you can handle with such, a, such an algorithm? I think, the, uh, Mirna, do you have in mind the huge, uh, the, the biggest model we used on the, on the, on the, on the, on the plugin? Yes, we have tested uh, with large, large uh, model, taking more time. Uh, so, but uh, it just uh, to remain that the genetic algorithm is to explore the solution space. So it's not the the optimal, the the best optimal solution we can say. But we can we can have uh, big models. So, uh, uh, but the, the tuning of the Genetic algorithm for the moment may be complex to, to tune the parameters uh, according to the complexity of the of the system architecture. So at, it's also an improvement that we uh, we we have in mind is to uh, help or support user in defining the appropriate parameters automatically according to the number of functions or number of components. 
maybe Sebastian, we can have a look at your polls. Uh, yes. Uh, so the first question was, do you encounter specific concerns with interfaces complexity? Uh, we see a majority uh, that uh, say often. It's quite interesting. So the second one was, do you have flexibility uh, for the functions to systems allocation during the architecture phase? Ah, and what is already interesting to note that uh, for few of the functions, we have a flexibility was 56% of the, of the elements and uh, nobody has no constraints. So that's the reason why we, we clearly think uh, because we, we saw a lot of uh, implementations, uh, um, some proposals that uh, re recreate a lot of allocations from scratch. And uh, we thought that it was not useful due to the, uh, to the reality. That's the reason why we proposed and Mirna demonstrated you the, um, the capability to consider the current pre-allocation uh, done in the logical architecture. And the last one, uh, maybe... So seems seems interesting. So I think it's it's uh, it's it's interesting. So we we useful for your system. So seventy four percent is maybe interesting, but need to analyze DSM for Capella in more details. So please uh, don't hesitate to uh, up download it huh, from the GitLab and to contact uh, the authors if you need uh, some specific details about it.